There we are. <laughs> it said I was live, and it froze up for a minute for some reason. Well, a second. Uh, microsecond. Millisecond. But anyway, it looks like I'm live, folks. And a happy Easter to all. And to all a uh, good spring. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I'm a little early tonight. Um, managed to get all my ducks in a row. Literally, Ponds is Pond has flooded. I have a duck pond in my backyard. There were literally, not figuratively, literally ducks swimming in it. Crazy. Yeah, someone actually uh, recommended I go to the tractor factory and buy my own domesticated ducks. I'm like, why? I have plenty of wild ducks to it to choose from. By the way, um, I hope everyone had a good Easter. <clears throat> a lot of people look like they still are. So <laughs> um, usually people kick in at some point after I go live. So I'm just going to sort of pontificate. Oh, dearie, dearie, D. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah, I'm going to leave it. Yeah. Um, I just noticed. Actually, can I fix this without destroying everything? Everybody think positive. Ah, almost. That picture's still good, guys. I'm going to go ahead and let me say yes. Uh, yeah, one of my comic books um, was not quite bunched up, but um, I had a book on top of um, the uh, comic book, and the camera was on that, and I was afraid it would get pinched and broken. But anyway, if I'm still good, I will continue. Tug is here. He says, hello, Bob. Tug, happy Easter to you, my friend. Mr. Wilkinson's here. He says, good evening, Bob. And happy Easter to you. Yes, I, I got your Easter wishes this morning, by the way. They're very, very kind. I know you know that because I got back to you, but I just want to let everybody know that he sent me a very nice Easter greeting this morning. Wajimin is here. He says, hello, everyone. Wajimin, so good to see you, by the way. Love um the uh, the... I, I can't call them one-liners because they're two lines, and I can't call them dad jokes. They're too good. Love the jokes you've been putting on um, as of late. Oh, Sarah's here, and <clears throat> she's already giving links. Sarah here. Uh, Sarah, Sister Sarah, please give a link to your channel as well. But thank you for the link to Tugs. Oh, and please give a link to Wajameen as well if you feel up to it. Uh, she says hello to everybody. Everyone's saying hi to her. Dan, the breaking news man, is here, and he says happy Easter. And a happy Easter year to you as well, my friend. And I think I'm more or less caught up. By the way, did everyone get a chance uh, to check out BB&B's? Uh, she had her first live chat uh, the other day. Um, and I wondered, I, what you mean? I know you were there. Because uh, I was watching it in replay. Um, I didn't get a chance to catch all the comments. So I was wondering if everyone else got to as well or anyone else got to as well. <clears throat> but she had her first solo live chat. And it was actually uh, it was really, really nice. I'm stealing some of her dad jokes too, by the way. But if you haven't checked it out yet, yeah, check it out. Um, and, oh, Lance is here. And he says hi to Sarah. Oh, and hey to Tug. And oh, and hey to Thrash. Lance, so great to see you as well. Welcome back. Dan says... I'm in the process of getting some questions for my game questions. That is awesome sauce. Love to have them. Love to have them. Um, yeah, what do you mean? It says B, B, and B did very well. Uh, for her first live chat, I was actually, because, you know, she said it was her first. And I, first of all, I felt so bad that I missed it. I like to try to catch people's first live chats when they have them. Um, but I, I it, she was like stoic. And I love. <clears throat> she had really nice music playing through. Um, she had little like uh, bumpers to insert when she thanks somebody and whatnot. I thought she did really, really well. Oh, uh, uh, the entertainment headquarters here says hello, Thrash Pondo Pons, and everyone happy Easter. Hope you all have a fantastic Easter Sunday. You as well. It is so great to see you, Kevin. Daryl Johnson here says happy Easter, everyone, and a happy Easter to you too. I saw somebody saying hi to Tracy. So uh, Tracy uh, Roth Myers. I'm sure you're in there, and it's so great to see you. Daryl John says, hit the like button. And, oh, from here to Paternity Podcast, which I'm guessing is, it's either Damien or Scott. I'm going to guess Scott. So great to see you. Um, Scott, uh, hey, Thrash Bonabons, Tug, uh, Geek, Lance, JF, and Tracy, uh, Fra Tracy's Fractured History, and more. And Daryl Johnson, of course. Good to see you, Scott. Um, let's see what we got here. Uh, oh, Dan says, what's her channel name? 
Oh, Brain Bender. It's something really, really cool. Brain Bender Boris Koloff. What do you mean? Do me a favor. Um, Give the exact name of the channel for BB and B. Uh, Brains Bender and something or other. I, I, I actually, I know it, but I'm on the spot right now, so I can't think of, you know, the dynamic. Danny Staten says, greetings from South Carolina. And a greetings to you. So great to see you. Danny, what is the name of the comic book? I had it when I was a kid. It, the cover art is, it's, it's a circus. And there's a sort of wild man who looks like a, he looks like, like a Frankenstein if he was like skinned. And people are shooting him and their bullets are going through him. And he's got like chains on him and stuff. And what is the name of that comic? Please help a brother out. Oh, I am Scott. Thank you from here to fraternity. I, I, you know, I, like I said, I was pretty sure I knew it was you, but I went, I always, one time I was calling somebody by the wrong name and they took it in stride, but I was very embarrassed. Um, and uh, Trace says, hi, uh, paternity and Sarah. There we are. And hi, Daryl as well. Ah, oh, here it is. Brain Bender's Banter. Brain Bender's Banter. I, 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 I was two out of three ain't bad as the song goes. Thank you, Wajameen. And again, guys, check her out, by the way. It was a really fun first attempt live chat. And uh, a lot of people having fellowship. Indy Spouts is here and says, I can only assume today's trivia is about Easter eggs in movies. Oh, I wish I had thought of that. I wish I had thought of that. But no, no, it's another uh, rendition of my working titles. I have a lot of fun making these. People seem to have fun doing them. So yeah, today it's another uh, working titles. Um, but I wish I had thought to do Easter eggs on special edition DVDs. Um, my flock has given us another link to Danny Staten. Uh, Harold the Hatter is here. It says, LOL <coughs> to uh, the Unapologetic Geek. Since you said Hatter, LOL, I was just about to like the post with this channel. Please like the post on this channel and subscribe. And Harold the Hatter, welcome to the party. Uh, Danny Stanton says, insufficient information, need more details, LOL. You're Aha, uh -huh, very funny. Um, you, you did a short about it. You said more, more, more was to come. And I just, I have the vaguest recollection of having that comic when I was a kid. I think my uncle bought it for me because it was a little strong for something my mother would have gotten me because I would have been about, I'm guessing that was 74, 75. I would have been, let's call it around eight. But I remember I had that comic. I loved it. I didn't read it from my grandmother because I was afraid she'd take it away from me. Um... But I have the vaguest recollection of that comic. So if you could um, remind me any deets about it, I would be in appreciation. And um, uh, uh, Kevin says, I saw Geek, the new Empires Today review coming to Entertainment Headquarters. Uh, looks like tomorrow. Uh, Tug says, tired Lance, long spring break week. Ooh, I can only imagine. Johnny Orchard's here. He says, hey, Thrash, happy Easter, everyone. Uh, Johnny, so glad you could make it tonight, by the way. And I will try to give you a jingle on Tuesday. Um, Trace says, happy Easter to all who celebrate it. Um, I even got an Easter message from Emily Miller today. And I didn't think she did the whole Easter thing, but I did. I got a very nice message from her, and uh, it was appreciated. Uh, Gary Carpenter's here. He says, happy Easter, everyone. Lots of people having fellowship. Oh, Lynn says, uh, rest in peace to Lewis Gossett Jr. Yes, yes, definitely. That was a heavy, heavy casualty. Uh, he was um, a, a great one. Most people remember him from um, Officer to Gentleman. Um, I remember him from that as well, of course. Uh, the Deep. Um, he played Sadat on a made-for-TV movie miniseries. And yes, definitely heavy casualty. Texas. I also saw Geek and my review should... Drop tomorrow night on my podcast, uh, The Steaming Heap. Oh, by the way, I keep abbreviating this to Geek. Uh, it's Godzilla King Kong. Now I'm with you. Uh, but I like Geek better. Uh, Watch Me says, rest in peace, Mr. Gossett. And he says, hello, cats and kittens. Ah, yes, I used to use that line all the time. Still do on many occasions. And uh, greetings to you too, Indy Spouts. Well, I can't remember where I got that from. It's an old beatnik thing, but I actually got that from a, from somewhere. Uh, my flux says this Tuesday chance uh, snarky myself talking Star Trek. Don't miss it. We'll do my darndest. We'll do my, what? Let me know what day that is. If I'm not working, I'll be there. Uh, Harold says I did thrash bond upon. This is Scott's channel. LOL. I'm already subscribed. Oh, of course, 
of course, you, you, you mentioned this new channel, and I asked you for an update. So thank you for updating, by the way. And I will see to it that I check out yours. Uh, wow, Scott, that's a twofer, by the way. Thank you so much. And I think if I put more thought into it, that would have dawned on me. But again, when I'm doing a stream of thought and stream of consciousness in the stream of channel, I sometimes uh, neglect things. Dominic D is here says, hey, Bob, hi, everyone. And hey to you, too. And um, Gary Carpenter points out that it's Gosset. Uh, yes, you're right, it is, actually. And Tug asks, how was uh, uh, Kong and Godzilla? That's a very good question. Um, Dan says, here's a warm-up to some of my game questions. They will be song titles. Question, to be able to perform wizardry. To be able to perform wizardry. Um, something magic. <laughs> you can do magic. Dun -dun. You can do anything that I'm going to get copywritten struck. That's my guess, by the way. Uh, oh, and Tug says it was awesome, Lance. So good. Um, May Eras is here. Says, hi, Bob. May Eras? Any connection to Georgia Eras? If you are, you've been sorely missed. In fact, today I was going through some of my old content, and I saw some old Georgia Eras comments, by the way. And I'm like, darn. Haven't talked in ages. Um, if it's a happy coincidence, May, welcome to the channel. Love having you. If there is a connection, uh, it's so great to see you again. And Danny says, sadly, I have company, can't stay. Uh, Danny, no, no worries. Enjoy your Easter evening. Uh, just, uh, just let me know what that comic is, man. It's killing me. Um, wow, I'm already so far behind. Uh, I'm going to skip the uh, fellowship. Um, and a lot of people saying hello to one another. John says, Tuesday is great. Good, good, good. Yeah, I, I saw your email. You, you said it was good. Awesome, awesome. A lot of people saying hello to May. Lance says, Sarah, have me on after the topic. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, what do you mean? Enemy mine. Enemy mine. I actually, my wife, Mrs. Thrash, as you know, isn't a huge fan of science fiction. She, she loved Enemy Mine. The chemistry between the two of them is absolutely amazing. I think I like Enemy Mine better than I like Hell in the Pacific. I think, I think. And May says, Bob May is my middle name. So, Georgia, it is you. Oh my gosh. It is so awesome to have you back with us. Guys. Most, if not all of you, most of you must remember Georgia May was a fixture on this channel. Um, anyway, it's so awesome to see. Yeah, I was, I was just thinking about you just uh, literally, literally within hours ago. That's so awesome. Uh, Gary Cameron says, Roots, he was on. Yes, he was. He certainly was. And Tug says, enjoy your holiday and your guest, Danny. Definitely. Definitely. Yeah, Lance says, Georgia, is that you? Yeah, Georgia is always on my mind. Uh, Gary Cameron says, from what? An old beatnik? Actually, you know where I think it came from? Now that I think of it, I think it was from Duckman. I, I think, because remember his um, his uh, partner, Cornfed, was always really, he was sort of like the Joe Friday type. Uh, he comes into like some party they were having or something, goes, hey, cats and kittens. And I thought it was just so funny the way he said it, I think. Uh... And he says, hi, Majamama. <laughs> um, my vlog says, epic AF, Pons. Thank you so much. Uh, Indy's Bounce says, you can do magic, Toto. You can do magic by Toto? Um, I thought you could do magic was um, America. Was it in America? Horse with no name, that America? Um, but anyway, uh, at least we got the song correct. Uh, my flux says, hit that thumbs up, share out, comment after the show, please, and thank you, what she said. Oh, and Daryl's also asked that, um, you guys do thumbs up. Hey, guys, we got 20 in-house, only 12 likes, we can do better than that. Tug says, hit the thumbs up button, all you fine people, and the less than fine people can as well. Yes, yes, I'll take likes from people who aren't fine. 
Kevin says, also, Thrash, are you available anytime on Wednesday, 1 or 3 p.m. your time? Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. I thought I messaged you back on that. I could have sworn I could. Sadly, no. Wednesday, <clears throat> um, I work Wednesday nights. Also, I have to take number one granddaughter home from school. Uh, she gets, and I have to pick her up around two-ish. Uh, so we usually leave around one-ish. Um, so uh, Wednesdays are kind of tricky for me. But... um. Uh, usually Mondays or Tuesdays are better, particularly if it would be like after three. Uh, Mondays and Tuesdays work for me. So when we eventually do our Shogun retrospect, um, those days would work perfectly for me. And, oh, and uh, Georgia says, yes, it is. And my flock has given us another link. Thank you. Len says, a long time, mate. It has. It has. And I'm glad you're back with us. Uh, Dominic D says, Abracadabra Steve Miller Band. Ooh, Abracadabra could also apply, um, but I'm still going to hold out for um, You Can Do Magic. <laughs> and Gary Carpenter says, I, I've not seen Godzilla uh, times Kong yet. And Dan says, that's the correct answer. Pa pounds. Pounds? Are you hinting that I put on weight? That's fine. I have. And let's see. Harold says, Thrash Bundo, I am subscribed to your channel with five channels, very good. So, so, oh, um, a sing, singatet, singatet, a cinco. Thank you. Uh, I have too many emails for personal and business use. Blah. And Kevin jumped off the page. So let me just get him back. It belongs to them. Let's bring it back. Ah, oh, here we go. So far, uh, Godzilla and Kong is the biggest film of the year, even outperforming Dune Part 2 for its opening weekend. Wowzers. And May says, yes, it is my middle name. name. And only 257 is here. And only 257 says, eee! Is it Easter? <clears throat> going to go on a limb. I would love to say, hi, guys. Happy Easter. Yes, that's that's what I guessed. And Tracy says, missed you, Ayers. Yes, you see, uh, Mrs. Uh, Georgia, we all we all missed you very, very much. And we're so glad that you're back with us and um, doing okay. And I don't know why I'm so parched tonight, but I will try to keep up. And Lance says, happy Easter, everyone, definitely. Gary Cameron says, I just finished watching the first Easter rabbit. Here comes Peter Cottontail and the family circle. The family circus, you mean? Is that the one where the baby runs away because they make fun of his um uh the card he that he makes for the the mom and they have to go on a quest to try to find him? I think I saw that like oh, <laughs> something approaching 50 years ago. And um I think I remember here comes Peter Cottontail. Which, which is the one where he goes to like um the different holidays, but he's gotta he's gotta like give out his entire basket of Easter eggs. And he has a friend who's an inchworm who um, has a French accent. And they, they, they fly around in a, a flying Model T. And um, Is any of this factual, or was I in a hallucinogenics as a child? Uh, let's see what we got going on here. 257 says, is this a Max Fleischer cartoon? Sounds like it, doesn't it? Uh, My Flux says, shared you out pawns. Thank you so much. You're amazing. Daryl Johnson says, hey, only, as does Gary Carpenter. Uh, Kevin says, Enemy Mine, a classic also, The Last Starfighter. Yeah, Enemy Mine is actually one of my favorites. Now, there's a whole story behind it. Supposedly, it's based on Hell in the Pacific, but I heard Summer, please correct me if I'm wrong, the short story actually predates Hell in the Pacific. So... But I love Hell in the Pacific with Lee Marvin and Tishiro Mufuni. And literally no one else. It's just the two of them the entire movie. Watcher Bean says, Enemy Mine is one of my favorite Lou's movies. I, I can't blame you for that. I can't blame I need another face. Even one as ugly as yours. Um, two of five seven says, I watched uh, Capricorn 1 Gary last night. On Pluto TV. I loved Capricorn 1. When I was a kid, it was like kablooey. Makes an amazing double feature with Hangar 18. Just for the numerology. 
Uh, and he says, are you thinking of Strange Adventures 205 featuring dead men? Maybe. <laughs> that that very well could be maybe um and indy only you only you could put all that together and uh come up with a lucid answer you i think you know how my mind works better than i do <clears throat> and I, there's a message there for all of us uh, Tracy says, say hi to Mrs. Robert. I certainly will. I certainly will. She's lurking in the shadows. I think she went to lay down. Uh, Kevin says, uh, 2007 says to Kevin, good movie. And Lynn says, Firewalker with Lou and uh, Chuck Norris. Why, why can I not recall that film? 257, it's, it's party time. My buddy, my. Gary Cameron says to E.H., it's been a long time since I've seen The Last Starfighter. And you know what? It's I am, I am so ashamed, me as well, but it's like everyone's talking about the movie. Everyone's showing it. Everyone's having watch-along parties. I literally have no excuse. I had such a crush on her, too. Georgia says, happy Easter, everyone, and to you, too. Um, Tracy says, do you believe in magic? Oh, yes, um, that is the correct uh, title. Gary Cameron says, America... Did you can do magic? Thank you, thank you. I believe someone, I believe it was Indy, said Toto. Maybe they did a rendition of it, but I, I remember America doing that song. Uh, the band, not the country. Um, uh, 2007 says, uh, Gary, I love the power glove, it's so bad. Is that from the movie Wizards? I believe it's from the movie Wizard. I believe that was, um, uh, Kristen Slater. Um, and Lance Javen says, have that movie on DVD. Excellent. Dominic D says, Lou Gossett Jr. was on an episode of The Partridge Family along with Richard Pryor. I love that episode. First of all, it has one of my favorite. You guys are going to laugh at me. Don't laugh at me. One of my favorite Partridge Family songs is uh, Bandolera, which is like a completely unknown. In fact, if it made it on one of their albums, I'd be surprised. <laughs> but um, it was like one of their lesser known hits. But I always found it. There was a radio station that played oldies, which shows how old the song is, um, back in like the 80s. And I fell in love with that song. It's in that episode. And Richard Pryor and Louis Gossett Jr., they play a couple of dudes who are, they're raising money for a firehouse or some charity, but they're being squeezed by a couple of gangsters. But they make friends with, they don't call them Black Panthers, but they make friends with this um, group who greatly resemble the Black Panthers. And the Black Panthers make makes the gangster go on to greener pastures. And it's it's such a fun episode. It's like one of my favorite Partridge Family episodes. So, Dominic D, thank you so much for pointing that out. And Tug says he also ran a campaign against racism, e-racism, that is a very wholesome and not divisive. I did not know that, but I'm very impressed. And let's just see. 207 says, yes, the Wither Movie Ponce. Thank you so much. I think I may have missed a few if I missed any. Oh, I did. Oh, my gosh, I did. Uh, so I'm just going to scoot back here for all the messages I missed. And, and all the people I still need to say hello to. And crazy. You guys are just so directive. You guys are awesome. I'm so glad I decided to go back because I missed a lot. Uh, here we are. Let's James says, Magic Living and John. Great song. Uh, uh, Kevin says, thanks, Rash Pondo. I'm trying to get it scheduled to do that review, but it's very hard, as DJ Anubis uh, works every Monday and Tuesday. We'll figure something out, Kevin. I promise we'll figure something out. Uh, maybe a Friday. Possibly. It would have to be like a Friday morning, but I'll get back to you. No worries, dude. Uh, 207 says, uh, Geek Assault on Precinct 13 movie from the 70s. Love that movie, by the way. Um, um, uh, uh, Carpenter. Carpenter, Carpenter did that. John Carpenter did that. Phil, um, my flux is. Uh, I'll give it another link. Thank you so much. And uh, a lot of people saying a little one another. 
Lance Chapman says, Sarah, okay, thank you. Maybe I can pop in for that a bit. Look who's here. Look who's here. John Doe's here. John Doe says, happy birthday. John Doe, so glad you could make it, by the way. Um, thank you so much again for those documentaries. And <laughs> um, I promised John that I would mention, and I'm going to – Island at the Top of the World – <laughs> I'm actually putting together some information about that, by the way. That was a, that was an old Disney movie about uh, a Zeppelin exposition. exposition. Uh, <laughs> the, the exposition about the expedition. I'm giving you exposition. It's about a uh, Zeppelin uh, mission expedition uh, to the North Pole where they meet a group of um, Vikings. And I'm going to... That's the short answer. I am going to put something together a little more fleshed out john burns in the here says hello i made it john you always do and i'm always glad to have you trey says i made a homemade casserole for dinner tonight um mine wasn't homemade i had one of those skillet dinners um me and mrs thrash shared it was a chicken stir fry kevin says um also guys i have a poll on the up uh, the entertainment headquarters community page to vote for an Upcoming audience choice retro classic movie show with me and DJ Anubis would love uh, to hear a vote. Yes, by the way, uh, I'm. Have we got a link for Kevin? I, Sarah, you gave a link for Kevin. So yeah, please look for uh, Kevin's link at the Entertainment Headquarters. By the way, and I will go on there and vote when I'm not running a show. But it sounds like a plan, my man. Georgia says I had gone through several phones since the last time. I was here. Well, welcome back. It is so amazing to have you back. By the way, please feel free to... There is a lot of new content on my channel. Um, if you want to check out some of my newer posts, love to... There was... I, mean, I can't remember. There was one particular post where I'm like, Georgia would love this. Georgia would love this. I don't know if it was my Day of the Trivets post or my... Um, uh, not a Living Dead post. But Georgia, please check out some of my post uh gary carpenter says family circus the family that has one girl and brother yes 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 it's um one girl and then she has an older brother and two younger brothers one's literally still a baby and um yeah it was a, it was a sunday uh comic strip for years i remember um but but yeah they're, they're making cards for their family and they use uh, streamers to make them even bigger. They're trying to outdo each other. And the baby makes one that's a scribble and they laugh at it and he cries and runs away. And it's, it's actually very sad. It's actually very sad. Um, but um, I do remember that special. Uh, Gary says, oh, 2007 says, Gary, the final scene in Killdozer. Wow. John says, I think you took too much acid. <laughs> As a nine-year-old, um, <laughs> Mr. Wilkinson says, Bob, my dad said to say hello to you. <gasps> tell your father, tell Kenneth, I said very nice to uh, uh, hear the shout-out from him as well, to see him as well. Uh, it was very nice to see you guys for dinner the other day. And um, you know, tell him it was very nice to say hi and happy Easter. Uh, Daryl says, please hit the like button. Now I said please. He did say please. In fact, he said please. So please hit that like button, my people. Tree says, I mean, mine was a beautiful movie. It was very prolific. It really was. It had it had layers to it. And I yes, I knew you meant enemy. Uh Dan says, music question number two. When the thermostat is not too cold. When the thermostat is not too cold. Uh uh, all I can think of hot-blooded by Foreigner. Hot-blooded, check it and see. I got a fever of 103. I know that's not right, but I'm going to still keep working on it. But I'm going to start with hot-blooded by Foreigner. Uh, 257 says, don't watch Teenagers from Outer Space, Daryl. Um, I actually like that movie. It's sort of a precursor to um, uh, Terminator. There's, there's a lot of similarities. And the girl in it is cute. The worst part, though, is the space monster is a big lobster. I'm like, how many people are going to watch this movie and say, that's just a big lobster? Oh, big guy 257 is here. He says, hi. Big guy. I loved, I loved um, 
that post you did on the Jaws song from 1975-76. You guys were, you guys remember they were, they were really popular for a while. What they would do is <clears throat> they would take a bunch of clips from uh, popular songs and they would string them together in a framing device. Um, it would be like an alien invasion or something like that. It's like, uh, pardon me. Um, or they had one for Godzilla, but they did one for Jaws. Or it's like, Jaws, why you got my hand? Wouldn't you give your hand to a friend? <clears throat> that type of thing, but it was hysterical, and thank you. And, to, and 45 says it's been a while. It sure has. Very glad to see you again. Tab is here. He says, good evening, Thrash. Happy Easter. Tab, so good to see you. Welcome uh, to the party. Gary Gabriel says, Fam the family circus, PJ, Billy, Jeffy, and Dolly, and the parents, plus dog and cat. Very good. If you put a gun to my head, I couldn't name all the cast members. And uh, Big Guy says, good news on sub glitch is over for me. Thank God. Thank goodness, Gravy. Um, that was I know that was driving you to despair. I'm so glad it's worked out for you. Lance says, guys, just stop by to say hi. Have a good night, uh, guys. Lance, thanks so much for joining us, man. It was so great to see you. Um, be good, be safe, be careful. Happy Easter. And I'm really, really, really glad you uh you been. Lance actually had a great idea. He said I should have done Lewis Gossett Jr. trivia for tonight, by the way. And um, I had already done the game, so that was on the cards, but it was a great idea. John Doe says, Godzilla minus one, well-deserved Oscar Godzilla X Kong, new empire I'm going to sit out, looks awful. Hmm, like I said, I haven't seen it, so I can't speak to it. Uh, Derek Ronk, oh my God. Guys, you guys all remember Derek Ronk, right? Derek Ronk, he's um, met him through um, uh, that fat samurai guy. He was doing a lot of collabs with that fat samurai guy. Um a uh, good friend of uh, Ian uh, uh, Carlin, of course, uh, cereal for dinner, <laughs> and a good friend of mine too, by the way. You got to check out uh, his site, by the way. He's an actor, as you know, and he's been um, working on a couple of uh, feature flicks. Um, the release dates, you got to let me know, but he has a couple of demos. You guys got to check him out, by the way. He's also on Facebook. Check him out. But Derek, it is so awesome to see you. A lot of people saying hello to Derek and goodbye to Lance, uh, who's like saying see you uh, this coming Tuesday. I jumped again, and I'm just going to uh, go back because, <clears throat> oh, my God, speaking of Mr. Carlin, oh, my God, <laughs> retro serial. I sp I'm not going to say speak of the devil. That would be so disrespectful to you. I would not <laughs> Speak of old friends, E and C, and they appear. Oh my God, retro! Happy Easter! It is so. Um, all my old friends are showing up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get misty in a second, guys. I'm gonna get misty. All my old friends are showing up. This is, this is like a reunion show, and I love it. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna skip back because I know I missed a lot of comments, and I am not gonna do that tonight. I don't care if we have to go to eleven. Oh, citizen, not my flock. I was in disguise. <laughs> Citizen Nut, I'm glad you decided to make your presence known. And welcome to the party. And, oh, God, I really am far behind. Am I? Uh, here we go. So I'm going to go back up. Uh, you can do magic. Was there a big comeback? Yes, it was. It was in, like, 82, 83. Yes, it was. Uh, Gary Cameron says, I've not seen Godzilla minus one yet. Uh, I heard it was great. 257 says Lost in Space series from 1965. Gary. <clears throat> oh, very good series. And a lot of people saying goodnight to Lance. Andy Spot says 257, I'm pretty sure your HR department would rule that as an unsafe work environment. Um, yeah, I, I could pretty much agree with that. And um, oh, Citizen Not As Here says, howdy, howdy, howdy. Uh, I'm reading your first comment last. But I will get there eventually, I promise you. Uh, let me sing hi to Citizen. Teb says, R.I.P. Ron Harper, Uncle Jack, from the final season of the original Land of the Lost from the 70s and star of the short-lived Planet of the Apes TV series. Yes, he played Burden. In fact, that 
weighed very heavily in my fan fiction Planet of the Apes Land of Lost crossover. But I don't want to give the game away. Uh, thank you very much, my flock, for giving uh, uh, Citizen Not a shout out. Gary Carpenter says, only he was before my time. Uh, uh, only says, great show to Teb. I'm assuming he means both. Uh, uh, oh, hey, <laughs> he, a citizen not says safety rules all. <laughs> definitely, definitely. And Tugs is Lance next Sunday, part three of Robots. Count me in. Count me in. Um, I've actually come up with a few new ones, so I am all about it, about it. Uh, Gary Cameron says Ron Harper was on Planet of the Apes uh, TV show. Yes, he was. Uh, John Doe says, remember, dead men don't wear plaid. I actually loved that movie. Uh, I was a big Humphrey Bogart fan when I was a kid. I can't remember a single scene in it. Well, I mean, I remember Steve Martin and I remember Humphrey Bogart, but I can't remember the plot. Um, Two Five Seven is not a Disney movie. Oh, Island at the Top of the World. Why did I remember it was a Disney movie? I, I, I think I, you know what? I may have seen it as a double bill with a Disney movie when I, I saw it in the drive-in in the Yarmouth drive-in when I was eight. Let's go with that. Uh, Gary Cameron says. Only I've just love I just love anything by Croft. And number one, number one dude is here. Speaking of um old friends, number one dude is here. He says, uh Thrash Pondo, I'm late again. No worries. I am running so far behind that it'll probably be, I'll probably not catch up until after the show is over. And Daryl says, I'm looping the 1954 Godzilla theme while watching. Da 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 Da, da, da. And John Burton says, where do you go when things get rough? You go to HR, Puff and Stuff. He can't do a little because he can't do enough. Puff and Stuff, we're watching too. And knew exactly what to do. Oh, Bobby Renee. Was was there some type of secret <clears throat> like uh, code to all my old uh, channel members to show up for tonight's uh, chat? Well, anyway, Bobby Renee is here. And uh, don't walk away, Renee. I'm so glad you're here. Welcome to the party. And 2007 says, I'm watching Star Wars Holiday Special with my staff members, Pons. That sounds like a blast. Oh, the riff track, the riff tracks version, even better. As you guys know, my favorite riff tracks is Not a Living Dead. Uh, and I'm going to kind of skip through some of these. Oh, <clears throat> Georgia says, shall do. Excellent. I hope you enjoy the new post. And Gary says, T, it's too bad I'm not really related to them. Um, you know who I'm actually related to distantly? I'm actually related to, uh, um, you know, Barron's Magazine. I'm actually distantly related to them. Um, as is the, uh, the daughter from the first, uh, um, uh, how they wrote, um, um, Vacation, National Lampoon's Vacation movie. Oh, hi, Mrs. Thrash. Uh, Mrs. Thrash says hi to everyone. And everyone's saying hello to everybody. Oh, and he says Tug is part of, uh, three of the robot chat, the one where you have to preserve it, but only when it doesn't conflict with the first two shows. <clears throat> Indy, I doff my hat to thee. That is the, the third law of Tug's shows. Love it, love it. Um, Gary says, Valley at the top of the world. It's been ages since I've seen it. Valley at the top of the world. Why didn't, because I knew Island at the top of the world didn't sound right to me. Valley at the top of the world. Thank you so much. Well, that would make a great um, double feature with The Last Dinosaur for reasons that are all too obvious. But when says, Gary, I remember you. It's your day today, Carpenter, LOL. And Gary goes on to say, oh, oh Mook Five Sentence goes on to say, Gary like solar babies. And Dominic D says, there was a dog named Barfy in the Family Surfit comic strip. I don't remember Barfy the dog. I'll take your word for it, but I, I don't recall. Oh, and Gary says, oh, only never seen it. <laughs> and, oh, Electra Woman in Dine, a girl. Yes, I believe a chance just did a bit about them, too. Oh, and Tug is also laughing at Indy's witticism. Alan Tuvam says this is not to watch it. I'm guessing Solar Babies. And Ian is here, and he says, Happy Easter. And Ian, I've already been in awe by your return and presence. It is so awesome to see you. Welcome to the show. 
and uh, Texas Scott. Oh, oh, happy birthday, Hills. Did I say happy birthday? Happy Easter, Hills. And I'm, I'm sorry, the uh, number one granddaughter was just passing through and got her Easter present, so I wanted to make sure that she knew that I was saying happy Easter. Only I said happy birthday, like Frosty the Snowman. But um, it's actually someone else sent me a happy Easter um, a gif earlier today, and it said happy birthday. So the crazy thing is it's not even a birthday celebration. That's Christmas. This is a, well, I'm not going to get into the um, mechanics of what we're celebrating today, but we all we'll know where that ended up. And I seem to pay myself in a quarter, so I'm just going to keep going. Gary Carpenter says, Dominic, Barfi the dog is, yeah, Family Circus, yes. And John Doe says, I don't know that the host of the walk around Brooklyn was in Island of the Top of the World. Um, it was David Hartman. David Hartman was, um, uh, who did like Good Morning America for years. Um, and I guess it's, is it Valley the Top of the World? Now I'm now I'm totally confused, but yeah, uh, David Hartman, um, he he plays the interpreter or one of the interpreters, if you know what I mean. And who him says goes pawns? No. And I'm just gonna skip up here. Skip, skip, skip. Now Lou Dominic D says, "Yep, Gary. I guess he got sick a lot. I'm not sure who got sick, but I'm very sorry, and I hope he feels better." And. Um, my vlog is giving us a link, and a lot of people, including Tracy, are saying hi to Ian and Happy Easter. And Dan says, "Answer the heat is oh the heat is on the heat is on from um uh oh well, the question was the when the thermostat is not too cold. I got gotcha, you, I got gotcha. you. Uh, and that of course is from the Beverly Hills Cop soundtrack." Oh, uh, Ian says, great to see you all. Likewise, it's awesome to see you. Bobby Renee says, thank you. John Doe says, Teenage from Outer Space is a pure, schlocky, fun film. That may have been the one we were talking about where it says, don't see it. But yes, I, I actually, I, I think I own it. I think I own it on a videotape. And Only Little 257 says, uh, Geek, have you seen Alien from L.A. movie? Is that the one with Kathy Ireland? You know, it's like wicked funny. The sequel to that. Um, Oh, uh, something about Atlantis. Journey to the Center of the Earth. Um, uh, I was actually the, the guy um, from Weird Science. Ian Michael Black, I want to say his name was. I, I think I'm confusing him with somebody else. But that that person, <laughs> whether I got his name right or not, that person, I actually met him at a house party in North Adams when I was still in college. And I said, what have you been working on? And he said, we just canned a new movie called uh, Journey to the Center of the Earth. Well, apparently it was so poorly received, they chopped it up. And whatever footage they could get their hands on that was still usable, they incorporated into Alien from L.A., the sequel. And it was beyond incoherent. So I felt really, really bad. He's an English professor now in somewhere. And I just jumped again. Darn it! <laughs> Not darn it, darn it. Darn it. And, oh, wow, I jumped. So I really thought I'd caught up for a second. I really, really thought I'd caught up for a second, but no. But I, I, I have to applaud you guys for being interactive. Um, And, oh... If it kills me, I'm going to go back to where we started. And it just might. Ah, uh, here we are. Uh, Gary Cameron says, uh, John, I found it on YouTube, but I've not seen it yet. Oh, and uh, 2007 says, watch the MSB. The, 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 the Misty version. Uh, Bobby Renee says, Host, finally, your camera looks good. Finally, my camera looks good. Well, thank you. You know, I think it is improved lighting. I think the camera was fine, although I, I have um, adjusted it from time to time. But I think I think I had poor lighting for a while. I'm also filming from a different room. Uh, but but thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. And he says, I'm guessing trivia time is right about here. Not quite. I'm going to catch up on these comments if it if it breaks the proverbial bank, John says the director of Teenagers Around Outer Space went insane shortly after the movie released and died in an insane asylum. Oh, dude, that is sad. I'm going to look that up. That I mean, I believe you, but I, I'd like to get the the full story. That's very very sad. I did not know that. Uh, Retro Seal says, "Do you know any good revenge movies?" Ooh, revenge movies. Um. 
<clears throat> the kind of Monte Cristo. Um, but let's see. There, there, there's some good revenge movies. Um, oh, Mrs. Thrash said extremities. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, I'm going to say in Dr. Shrek's House of Horrors, Christopher Lee has a whole revenge angle um, that actually kind of kind of works. Um, oh, the best revenge film I can think of, and it's not for the faint of heart, but the best revenge film I can think of is The Last House on the Left. So yeah, go check out The Last House on the Left um, if you want a good revenge film. Uh, Gary Cameron says, John, he did, it was probably from too much stress. Being a director is very stressful. Uh, my flex says, hit that like button and share and comment after the show, please, and thank you what she said. Uh, Indy Spout says to Retro Serial, I spit on your grave. Wow, Indy came to play today. I think the only movie more disturbed in the last house on the left by a narrow margin <laughs> would be I spit on your grave. So I doth my cap a second time. Uh, and I'm just gonna, I'm gonna try to scroll through without missing too many people because, as um, Indy says, we really should try to get to the uh, um, uh, trivia game. Uh, Derek Ronk says retro. The villainess is great. So is I saw the devil and the man from nowhere. Ooh, here's the film, and I never really thought of this until Derek until we were talking about films we've talked about before. The good, the bad, and the ugly, as we all know, that's a saga. It's an epic. It's not just a single film. And one of the main premises about it is revenge. Tuco, not just on Blondie, he is also trying to get revenge on Angel Eyes. Would the good, bad, and the ugly constitute a good revenge film? You let me know in the comments below if I ever get to them. Um, and let's just see here. Re Retro uh, Pond's favorite serial movie. Um, uh, Captain Crunch meets uh, uh, Tony the Tiger. And Coca Puff's Lucky Charms. <laughs> My vote says, ah, Pond's. No one dude says, uh, waiting for ENC's live streams featuring Thresh. So am I. <laughs> we'll get them again eventually, I promise you. Excalibur, here from my flock. Excalibur, forged when the world was young. And bird and beast and flower were one with man. And death was but a dream. What movie is that from? <laughs> Excalibur, so nice to see you. Welcome to the party. Thank you for joining us. Uh, Tug says, this stream feels so warm and fuzzy. It does. I have new friends. I have old friends. I have... No, there's no cooler way of saying this. I have in-between friends. I have many, many friends. And is there anything better in life? Well, money. But uh, and money can buy friends. Just when the money runs out, so do the friends. Ooh, that was almost zen. I have zen friends. Uh, Melissa Foster says, Hi, Thrash Pondo, and all happy Easter, and hope yours was a wonderful day. I did. I laid around the house and did absolutely nothing. It's the best part about the day. Uh, number one uh, daughter went to her uh, boyfriend's for Easter dinner. So Mrs. Thrash and I had, again, we had the chicken stir fry <clears throat> and basically laid around the house. It was wonderful. Uh, Tug says, we need Emily to balance it out, LOL. Yes, <clears throat> I've, I've spoken to Emily, but I don't know if she's available tonight. But uh, And Emily out there, happy Easter. Uh, John Dose is getting ready for WrestleMania XL. Um, daughter used to watch uh, WrestleMania frequently. Don't watch it that much anymore. A lot of people saying hello to Excalibur. Um, my flock dropping links. Awesome. Excalibur just subbed. Thank you. <clears throat> Thank you for subbing Excalibur. Um, you are very warmly welcomed. And oh, she says, Happy Easter, love you, brethren. Speak of the devil. Ah, for, for her, I can say it. Um, Emily Miller is here. Says, Hi, Tug, not feeling very well. 
not feeling very warm and fuzzy. Oh, oh, Emily, I'm so sorry you're not feeling well and not feeling warm and fuzzy. I'm so glad you're here. I'm so glad you I, I hope you're still here because by my calculations, I'm about three days behind. But Emily, it is so awesome to see you. I'm so glad you could make it. And a lot of people greeting Tug and Emily. And I'm just going to kind of skip through here. What means says, Emily, hope you feel better soon. Uh, oh, Emily says, <coughs> it's not me, but Wedge. <coughs> very, very sorry. Um, I'll try not to read between the lines. I think I know what you're talking about. But I hope that works out for you, and I'm very sorry. And, oh, uh, uh, Mr. Wilkinson says, uh, good evening, Emily. John Doe says, Island on the Top of the World is a Disney movie. Okay, so we I, we might be talking about two different films. We might be talking about two different films. But I'm talking about the one that had David Hartman in it. We'll get there eventually. When I'm not doing a show, I'll actually look them up on IMBD. And, oh, Axiom is here selling Reading Easter. Awesome. Oh, thank you for celebrating with us. 257 says, good movie, Pawns. And uh, by Flux is definitely X. Oh, Excalibur. Can I call you X? That will simplify a lot of things. Uh, I like having um, abbreviations. Uh, Gary Carpenter says, John, thank you. I thought it was Valley. Okay, so we are talking about the right movie. Good. Good, good, good. I, th I did think it was Island 2, and I'm glad it was confirmed. Um, what do you mean? says, oh, Emily, I read that wrong. LOL. Oh, <laughs> apparently I did too. Uh, um, and Georgia says, I have the movie Island of the Top of the World. Oh, excellent, excellent. And uh, I'm going to kind of skip through here. Gary says, one of our dinosaurs is missing is a Disney movie with Helen Hayes. I'm not familiar with that one, but I like The Last Dinosaur. And 2007 says, my favorite riff tracks is Santa and the Ice Cream Bunny. Gary, the live version. I actually saw that simulcast in Kingston, Massachusetts in the days when they were still doing those uh, Riff Tracks live editions. A lot of people saying hi to Mrs. Thrash. Oh, Planet of the Dinosaurs, great flick. 257. Uh, Bro goes here, says hello, everyone. Uh, a lot of people saying hello to Mrs. Thrash. Uh, oh, she said, ah, she's still lurking in the shadows. She's saying hello back. And um, a lot of people saying hi to Brogu. John says, one of my favorite summer movies is The Ice Cream Man. Is that the one that has um, Ron Howard's brother, Cliff Howard? Is that the one with Cliff Howard? I think Cliff Howard is in that. Melissa Foster saying hello, Mrs. Thrash as well. Gary says, only uh, what do you think about Santa versus the devil? <clears throat> That's the Mexican Christmas movie um, where Santa goes up against uh, an imp of Satan and lives on the moon, doesn't he? And Tug says, hello, Emily. Sorry, you're not feeling warm and fuzzy. Uh, Bobby says, oh, hi to Melissa. Two of them says, John, my favorite is Escape from New York. I love Escape from New York. Oh, and Excalibur says, bye bye, everyone. Excalibur, if you're still around, have a great night. Thank you for joining us. But it was wonderful, wonderful seeing you. And uh, oh, Retro says, might be going back home to Utah. I don't really want to. Anyone who wants to pray for me on this Easter, please do. I love you all. ENC, we love you too. And we will pray for you as we have before. A little harder this time too. <clears throat> and I apologize, man. Uh, and oh, it's, yeah, well, it looks like you're still here for the moment, but if you, if you have left, um, again, thank you for joining us. Uh, I'm just going to skip down because I think we're at, I'm actually getting close at this point. Oh, I just jumped. Did I jump too far? Oh, wow. I think I jumped too far again. <laughs> <clears throat> I am going to, once I get to the top, I'm going to race through these because I am way, I am like wowzers behind. Yeah, because I hadn't even seen that Pod Blast got here. Uh, oh, Dominic D. Anthony Michael Hall. Wow, I am far back. 
Oh, no, not Anthony Michael Hall, the other one. Um, Mrs. Thrash has a story about Anthony Michael Hall, but she refuses to let me tell it. <laughs> uh, here we go. I'm just going to kind of skip through. And uh, Paul Blasius says, Happy Easter to all who observe the resurrection. He has risen. Yes, he has risen. Uh, ah, Ian Mitchell Smith. Yes, uh, thank you. Ian Mitchell Black, I think, was on the state. Ian Mitchell Smith. Uh, thank you, Wajameen. Very, very good. Uh, Teb says, which classic Croft Brothers show do you prefer better? H.R. Puffin Stuff, Sigmund of the Sea Monsters, Lidsville, Land of the Lost, Lost Woman of Dinah Girl. Um, in this sort of love, Land of the Lost. There's no bad choices there, but love Land of the Lost. Um, Sigmund of the Sea Monsters, H.R. Puffin Stuff. Uh, and while I love Lost Woman of Dinah Girl, it would probably round out the choices you gave. But they were good. All of them. Oh, Pablo says, uh, hi, Thrash, and the chat. Uh, Daryl reminds us, don't hit the, to hit the like button. Uh, I'm, I'm really skipping through now. <clears throat> Just a lot of people having fellowship and answering Tubbs' question. A lot of people like uh, um, Retro Woman and Donna, Electro Woman and Donna Girl, and Pablo and stuff. Uh, and he says, no trivia tonight, kids. Bob has to read all of the posts. I'm going to catch up if it kills me. Uh, Pablo says, Samantha is queen that season tug. Uh, Gary Cabrera says, I've got to plug my DVD in soon. And John Doe says, Great Revenge Movie is the original. I spit in your grave. Very dark, but a very good revenge film. Oh, and uh, thank you for uh, dropping a link uh, to... Um, to Chance's uh, channel, very, very kind of you, um, Fistful of Radio, uh, and um, uh, Podblast, uh, the Nostalgic Podblast. Thank you so, so much, my flock, for dropping those links. Uh, yeah, Podblast says, I Spit in Your Grave is a tough movie. It certainly is. Uh, Tracy says, I love trading places for revenge movies. <clears throat> That's a great one. Gary says, you are buffering now and then. I am very, very sorry. Pablo says, The Cable Guy is a good revenge film. Oh, I, yeah, I didn't even think of that one. Uh, Kerry Carpenter says, Monster's Revenge. I can see that. Tug says, Good Man, the Ugly, a revenge movie. Absolutely. Thank you. On Pablo says, Message Attracted, and a message attracted to you, too. Uh, it looks like 257 had to had to leave because Jason said, see you, 257. 257, thank you so much for joining us. It was great having you with us. Uh, Pablo says, let's play promo password, the cable guy. Donald D says, yeah, Tracy, trading places gets my vote for that. There you go, for best revenge movie. Uh, am I almost caught up? We're about to find out. Oh, I'm just going to skim through. Oh, Emily says, I'm healthy. My mom went to the hospice today. I'm very, very sorry. I'm very, very sorry. Um, sending positive vibes. And, 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 and Emily, I saw your next message, and that's why I said I'm sending positive vibes for you. And a lot of people have sympathy towards Emily, as we all do. Uh, Retro Seal says, message retracted. And a message retracted to you as well. And Emily says, didn't... Oh. <clears throat> and Wajabeen says, oh, in so... I'm so sorry to hear about that, Emily. Uh, Melissa Foster says, my husband and I had my dad up for Easter dinner and listened to Easter music on YouTube. Oh, that sounds very, very nice. Um, Emily Miller says, I didn't want to get kicked off, but stop it, Chance. Um, yes, perhaps w w while our, our, our wishes are positive, perhaps we shouldn't push things that might, um, that might be more upsetting to, to, to some folks. So let's just all send positive vibes and leave it at that. Uh, thank you. And... 
Uh, Retro says, I'm so upset to hear about your mother. I love you. Uh, and Pablo says, I'm sorry to hear about your mom. And she, uh, Emily says, thanks for the love, y'all. Yes, that's the bottom line, Emily. We all have love here. And we, we, we all love you. And we all will send positive vibes towards you about your mom. Oh, no more dude says, Clint Howard, I believe. Wow. I asked that like 10 minutes ago. Ooh, closer to 20. So yes, thank you for, for, for keeping up with me. And Trace says, Emily, I hope that your mom receives the best health care here, and I hope that you get rest too. And let's just see here. Pablo says, message retracted. Uh, Emily Miller says, tomorrow's my granddaughter's birthday, and she absolutely adores my mom. Uh, and she, Tracy, she's receiving care now. Good. Uh, Bubba says, what's the topic of today's trivia? If I get to it, it's another one of my uh, working titles where I give you a title of a song, but with the words jumbled up, and you have to guess what the song is. Uh, and Teb is sending his love as well. Melissa Foster says, nope, uh, but I did hear every version of Peter Cottontail in his book says to publish music titles. In other words, but it looks like it may be tomorrow night. <laughs> John Doe says, E equals empty squared. Uh, energy turns to matter. Matter turns into energy. We are living crystals that can go from matter to energy and back to matter. <clears throat> so no one really passes away. They just go to another plane. Makes sense. Good point. And uh, Emma Moe says, I accept the love to Teb. Uh, oh, Emily says, I'm staying with my mom tomorrow night, so I might not be here more than understand. Uh, and he says, it's a joke about the fact that he'll never catch up with the chat. <laughs> I'm not sure which one of those jokes, but I'm sure it was 100% accurate. Oh, and uh, Sarah says, you're welcome, Pawns. And Pawn, I think I'm almost caught up. Uh... Pablo, I mean, Pablo says, happy positive vibe day. Uh, WD says, love and good thoughts. Wajabin says, Emily, my mom and dad both went that, uh, went to hospice. Yes, cancer sucks. Sending love your way. Pablo says, ah. Pablo does not say, ah. He just, I crashed my screen. Uh, Wajabin says, uh, Pablo says, Sarah lost. Her dad recently, my flock is a sweetie. Oh, I'm very, very sorry. Oh, Dave is here. He says, hi. Hi, Dave. How you doing? Oh, my, yeah. My flock says, my first without daddy. Very, very sorry. Mike and Kathy says, are we late again? No, actually, I'm so far behind. You're actually right on time. Gary Carpenter says, what do you mean? None of my family uh, ever ended up in hospice. Uh, Tug says, sorry to hear that. Kenneth, why is my father died? Uh, two from cancer. Uh, Emily says, Dr. Kevorkian. Uh, should have been able to keep doing what he was doing. Gary Cameron says, no one in my family never did have cancer. Let me listen to Mike and Kathy. Daryl says, don't take it wrong, but I'm going to jet when the trivia starts. Daryl, no problem whatsoever. More than understand. Oh, John does his remind. I, I understand. A lot of people don't like the uh, new format. I'll probably do something different next week. I haven't decided. Uh, Tug says, it's been more than a decade now, Chance, but I'm not going to lie. It still hurts. Uh, oh, uh, Mike says, are we talking about Lewis Gossett Jr., great actor? We have been. We have been. He was a great actor. We talked about him earlier. Uh, uh, Ian C. says, I was 30 at the age of 10, and I am 30 at the age of 50. Uh, I'm 10 at the age of 50. WD says, both my parents and sister were in hospice and passed away of cancer. I'm so sorry. And he spout says to Daryl Johnson, well, that answers the question of who the smartest person uh, on here is tonight. Ooh, snap. Uh, um, my flux says, a heart to Tracy. Uh, Pablo says, bless you, man, and the unapologetic geek. Daryl says, uh, Tug says, uh, same, ENC, same. Pablo says, I did have a tribute to Louis Gusset Jr. on my show Friday night. Kevin says, I am back. I had to take care of something and had to jump out. No worries, we're still here. Pablo says, what's a fantastic actor like Louis Gossett Jr. was? Uh, met him in 2007. That's really, really good. Oh, oh Louis Gossett Jr., he was an officer and a gentleman. Uh, he was in Roots. 
Uh, he was an enemy mine. He was a great actor. Bubba says, look him up. And um, my flux is giving us another um, a link. Thank you. Elias. Elias is here. He says, happy Easter, Bob. Oh, my God. Elias, your child is so gorgeous. Baby Theo is at your, your mother posted some photos of him on Facebook. He's absolutely gorgeous. Happy Easter, Elias. So glad you could make it tonight. I don't, I'm sorry I haven't called you in the last couple of weeks. Things have been absolutely crazy. We all got to get together and, and go check out a movie or something. We really, really do. Maybe the new Godzilla movie. Um, oh, uh, someone is uh, saying goodnight. Um, because uh, everyone's oh, is Tracy Tracy gonna leave? Tracy, have a great night. It's so great to see you. Pablo says Louis Gus Jr. was an Oscar winning humanitarian, not necessarily in that order. Oh, uh, yeah, he, he he won best supporting actor. Uh, a lot of people saying hi to Elias. Kevin says, away from YouTube, I am a healthcare worker, professional, and specialist uh, in end-of-life care and work in a beautiful hospice. Oh, that must be rewarding, but at times painful. And he says, just seeing how long I can keep delaying trivia, I think we're close to the record. I think we are, but I can see the bottom. And in fact, I'm just, oh, yes, and Pablo says uh, he was in that. We were talking about that episode of um, – Partridge Family. It's one of my favorites, actually. And I love the song Bendelera, which is in it. Uh, oh, and a thumbs up to you, Mr. Elias. So glad that you could make it, by the way. Thank you for joining us. And Emily Miller says, the young man who played uh, Ambrose on uh, Sabrina died in a motorcycle accident. He was 27. Oh, my God. That's awful. I'm so sorry. David says the new Godzilla movie is out. Yes, opinion is divided. Some people like it. Some people don't. Everyone so far here seems to have loved it. Are the ones who are actually going to check it out. And Justin says, hi, what's the trivia tonight? We're doing another one of those working titles productions. And in fact, I'm just going to... Oh, and Danny's like, I have returned. Company finally left. I hate the holidays more than understand. Oh, Michael Coffey says, is Godzilla versus Kong new? It certainly is. And anyone else, if I've missed any of your comments... I apologize, but I'm going to call. That's about as close to caught up as I'm going to get. So I'm going to have to like pull myself away from the comments just briefly, and we're going to have our game, and it's going to be my what I call my working titles game. And what working titles is, I take a title of a very famous song that maybe not we all love, but we all know, and I change the words. And you have to guess what the song is. Dan actually just gave us a few examples earlier on. And Dan, yours are great. So um, it's, it works just like that. So I'm going to, um, like, for example, if I said, why does the nearest star continue to be incandescent? It would be, why does the sun go on shining? Get it? Most of you guys have experienced this at least once. So I'm just going to start before I get any further ahead. Oh, yeah, Daryl's like, have a great night. Daryl, thanks for joining us tonight. Happy Easter. Good to see you again. Take care of yourself. So anyway, number 10. <clears throat> Avant-garde instrumental composition. I shall repeat. Avant-garde instrumental composition. And now we see who gets it. Um, I can do hints, too. If like there's, there's one here that I even think is unfair, but I Rod me Amadeus, that's a good guess, but wrong. Weird science, not quite. Uh, Unchained Melody, wow, there's some really good answers, but uh, so far, no. Uh, John, serious, uh, yes, I'm very serious about this, <laughs> and Oh, Emily Miller says, sweet dreams, Daryl. <laughs> and then to Gary, not mine, hers. Uh, David says, safety dance. Um, Pablo says, weird science is one of my favorite big screen comedies of all time. It's a good one. Uh, repeat, please. Avant-garde instrumental composition. And UHF, Yellow Submarine. I might actually have to give this one up. I might have to actually... All right, if I was to say Queen, would that help? John Doe says, the song Serious. <laughs> I forgot the group. Oh, no, I was being a wise guy, John. I got it. I got it. Bittersweet Symphony. Um, the theme to a summer place. No, but I almost used that. Um, Mama Thrash had a crush on John Saxon when she was, and I, and I love him. Bingo! 
Uh, Indie Spouts got it. Bohemian Rhapsody. You see, instead of Bohemian Rhapsody, it was all avant garde instrumental composition. Next, we'll throw that one out. Okay, <laughs> this one's a little easier. Number nine is all of your inhalations. I shall repeat, all of your inhalations. Indy says Bohemian doesn't mean avant-garde, Bob. It can it can mean like a left of center existence. Um, if I had said um, former district of Czechoslovakia, would that have helped? But Bohemian can means a um, non traditional lifestyle. And yeah, you see, everybody got this one. It was a like, boom. Um, uh, wow. Wow. Everyone, I'm so busy arguing with Indy that like, yes, literally everyone got one, that one. And yes, if you just said the name of the group, I'll give it to you. But yes, it's every breath you take. All right. So we're, we're back on track. Uh, <laughs> number eight. I like this one, but I might have to give it a hint. Uh, persons of whom are deceased. I shall repeat. Persons of whom are deceased. And we'll give this a second. A lot of people still... yeah, yeah uh, Yes, uh, Tab, uh, every breath you take is the correct answer. Gary Garber says, here's one. This person was the best all-around actor, singer, comedian. Ooh. All-around best actor, singer, comedian? Ooh, a triple threat. Actor, singer, comedian, the best of all. Certainly wasn't Elvis. Ooh. Oh, Mrs. Thrash is definitely seeing uh, that movie about him coming up. Um, ooh, actor, singer. You know, um, I would... Oh. Jason Alexander. <laughs> Um, people are having a little more difficult. Oh, Sammy Davis Jr. That's an amazing guess. That's an amazing guess. I don't know if he was that great of an actor. Certainly great of a song and dance man. I'm trying to think of someone who was an equal triple threat, singer, dancer, and actor. A lot of actors are great singers and dancers, but not great actors. Or like, for example, um, Frank Sinatra. Ooh, Frank Sinatra. Well, he wasn't really a dancer. But you see where I'm going with this. You have to be great singer and dancer. Christopher Walken. Um, I will repeat this one more time, and then I'm going to give a hint. Okay, I'm going to give us a hint. Here's the hint. Scott J. Scott J. Um, but anyway, persons of whom are deceased. And we'll see. Jackie Gleason. Ooh. That's a very good suggestion. I like that. Uh, oh, yeah. A lot of people, um, we're going to say Dean Martin, but it, it's a question of him dancing. Ooh. Um, ooh. Uh, Bing Crosby. Not a great human being, but a good singer, dancer, and actor. <laughs> Danny Kay. Danny Kay. Danny Kay was an amazing singer, an amazing dancer, an amazing actor. I'm going to say Danny Kay, and that's my final answer. Um, okay, the uh, um, hint is Jim Carroll Band. Uh, Jim Neighbors? No. I, 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 can't, I, I, I wouldn't have said Jim. Oh, Danny. Danny's here. Did Dan the music question... Um, Hoodlum's Utopia. Dan's music question is Hoodlum's Utopia. Oh, Hood Hoodlum's Utopia. Um, Gangster's Paradise. Oh, <laughs> uh, yes, Indy got it. People who died. I'm sure other people did too. Horrible typist. <laughs> yes, I'm a horrible typist. Um, uh, John Orchard says Tom Cruise. Um, he's neither a great singer, a great dancer, or a great actor. Ooh, I went there. Watch Valkyrie and prove me wrong. Uh, John Doe says Dirty Dom. <laughs> um, but yeah, people people who died um, is... 
And oh, and I was right. It, it was Gangster's Paradise. Good, good. And Tem, yet people who died. And Sean Connery. Sean Connery's a singer dance man? I would have never known. Uh, the answer is the. Oh, oh, I'm a moron. That was the song you were asking. <laughs> the entertainer. The entertainer is taking. I'm sorry. All right, Gary, Gary. I thought you were asking. <laughs> And I'm really trying to think of who a great singer, dancer, and uh, actor is. But you wanted to, the the song "The Entertainer" by Scott. Okay, now I got you. Uh, the Entertainer being a good song, dance, and man, singing. I'm sorry. <laughs> when when I try to do three things at once, I usually mess up all three. But anyway, yes, people who died by the Jim Carroll band. And number seven. Okay, this one's a little tricky, unlike the others so far. But I had to do it. Red Scent Road. I just like the ring to that. Red Scent Road. It sounds like a, a, a short story by Stephen King. Red Scent Road. Ooh, Justin, Mickey Rooney. Ooh, I never even thought of Mickey. Mickey Rooney was a, um, a very versatile entertainer, was he not? Neil Patrick, blah, blah, blah. Neil Patrick Harris is the complete package. Uh, Gary Cole, Gary Coleman. <laughs> Ooh, Emily for the win. Penny Lane. Yep, Tug also got it. Yeah, it's pouring in now. Now, I thought a red set road was going to be tricky, but you guys, like, nailed it with Penny Lane. But, yeah, so, so we're back on track now. Okay, this one's probably getting to the hint, but I'm going to give it anyway. Um, road, lane, street, avenue. And if I if my Latin is a little off, please forgive. Turtis Marula. Catwalling during the evening of death. I shall repeat. Turtis Marula, catwalling during the evening of death. I can hear you people going on Wikipedia as we speak. And I might have to repeat that. The long and winding road. Uh, it's amazing how many songs by Paul McCartney are about roads, isn't it? But yeah, uh, Penny Lane is the one. Uh, Touch says, used to have a cat named Penny Lane. I thought you were going to have a cat named C Cat Walling. <laughs> Johnny Orton said, if uh, I'll go there with you, Sean Connery got his part in James Bond because he's saying in another movie, you're kidding. I'll take your word for it, you're kidding. And uh, yes, uh, Tab, Penny Lane. Tug's like, what? <laughs> Pro goes purple rain. <laughs> okay, at least let's spell it. Okay. Turtus, T U R D U S, Marula, M E R U L A. Catwalling during the evening of death. A night at the opera, good guess. Uh, Gary Cameron says, The Entertainer by Scott Joplin, sung by Merton Burl and Miss Piggy on The Muppet Show. I remember that. I remember that. Uh, Pablo says, I had tickets to Prince last concert and gave them away. Oh, oh, kicking yourself, kicking yourself. Dan says, Dan's music question, twist the rhythm in circles. Twist the rhythm in circles. Twist the rhythm. You gotta give me a minute on that one. Uh, Dan Curtis, Dark Shadows. Uh, Miss Piggy's an amazing dancer. Oh, and he says, "What is the question?" Okay. Um. Wait. Question. Oh. Um. Twist. Uh. Uh. I. I just. Uh, um. Twist the rhythm in circles. The beat in, beat into rings. Turn the beat into ring. Turn the turn the beat around. Turn the beat around. Uh, tiptoe through the two lips. Dave, love it, love it. Um, uh, it, it what? Yes, caterwauling. Did I say catwalling? Caterwauling, yes. Okay, I'm going to say it one more time. Turtis Marula catwallering during the evening of death. Uh, put on the Ritz. Sorry, no. Twist and shout, that's a good one. Is this English? All right, um, I'm going to give a hint. The Beatles. And no, Tur Turtis Marula is actually, I believe, Latin. And it's Cat Wallering during the evening of death. And it's a song by the Beatles. Oh, I, I was correct, at least. So. 
<laughs> and he's about to stop asking questions on the thread. Bob cannot handle two things at once. I can't handle one thing at once. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to give this one out because apparently I painted myself into a corner. Blackbird singing in the dead of night. Blackbird singing in the dead of night. And I'm going to stop being so ethereal later on. Uh, <laughs> Justin says, run for your life. Okay, <clears throat> number five. Does it make sense? Okay, I will have to explain. Apparently you guys want me to explain it. Turtus Marula is a, um, a proper name for a blackbird. Cat wallering, which I kept mispronouncing. Cat wallering um, is uh, a form of shrieking slash singing and during the evening of death. Get it? Cat uh, blackbird singing in the dead of night. Anyone? Anyone? Sean Connery was in Darby O'Gill and the Little People, and he sang a song. Gary, thank you. I did not know that. Yeah, Tug says you want us esoteric thrush. Yeah, I, th I think I bit off more than I could chew. And Eastbound says the title of that song is just Blackbird. Well, if I just said Turtles Marula, no one would have got it anyway. And Dan says, okay, final. Okay, one more from Dan. Dan wants to do one more. One more from Dan. Final question from Dan. Letters putting together and ascending. Letters Put together and ascending. Letters put together and ascending. Word up. That's the code word. No matter where you say it, you know that you'll be heard. Am I right? Oh, and Brogu says Sean Connery also directed his tail off later in that movie. Dan Dance his tail off in that movie. Uh, David uh, says, Dear Prudence. Dan says, Correct pawns. I'm actually better at answering the questions than I am at composing them. All right, I'm going to throw out that last one, too. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm just going to blame it on me. Blame it on the pawns. Ooh, I wish I hadn't done that. Blame it on the rain would have been a good one. Um, Convict the precipitation. <laughs> Assign guilt to the precipitation. And moving forward, <clears throat> number five. I'm going to have to take a swig of this, by the way. I'm getting parched again, and I don't want to go to a coughing jag while reading. My ability to read my own handwriting is bad enough as it is. So number five, meteorological, meteorological conditions are present. It's my desire your countenance possessed features more pleasing to the beholder's eyes. <sighs> I shall repeat. Meteorological meteorological conditions present. Okay, one more time, guys. Meteorological conditions are present. It's my desire that your countenance possess features more pleasing to the beholder's eyes. And let's see what we got here. Blame it on Rio. I love it, but no. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm just going to skin down here. This about says, Eben Avion would have been fine for the last one. Oh, yep. Yeah, all right. All right. I'll buy that. <clears throat> Pablo says, message retracted. Message retracted to you, too. It's raining man. <laughs> uh, Jundo says, Pac-Man fever. Brogu says, what? Um... Pablo says, songs with rain in the title, Purple Rain, Laughter in the Rain, Who Will Stop the Rain. Those are all good ones. And Tug for the win. I'm going to read it one more time for the people I haven't got to get. Meteorological conditions are present. It's my desire that your countenance possess features more pleasing to the beholder's eyes. The weather is here. I wish you were beautiful. I went a long way for that one, people. Uh, Gary Cameron says the British called them ravens. Um, okay. Well, well, uh, they're 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 raving at the blackbirds. Then I don't know. I, don't know. I work with what I got. <laughs> and yeah, Jimmy Buffett, yes, very very good at the car wash. That's good. And um, but yes, you got it. And this is Robert Ducky. You're the one, Robert Ducky. Number four. It is my understanding that it is just the two of us at this moment. I shall repeat. It is my understanding that it is that it is just the two of us at this moment. 
Oh, Dan says, good night, Pons. Oh, Dan, hey, thank you so much for joining us. Um, I think next week, if you want to have a question, I think I'm going to do a more tra uh, traditional trivia game next week. So if you want to have a couple of um, regular trivias or even just like riddles or something, that'd be super. I think um, this might need a little bit of a break. Uh, John Doe says, splash, splash, I was taking a bath. <laughs> uh, and Eastbound says, just the two of us. Grover Washington, uh, no. Oh, Emily for the win. I think we're alone now. Yes, I think we're alone now by the Sean Bells. Uh, number three. Similar to a revolving rock. I shall repeat. Similar to a revolving rock. <laughs> David says, I think we're a clone now. <laughs> Melissa says, I think we're alone now, yes. Uh, uh, Pablo says, I, good song. I like the remake of it. Well, I think we're alone now by Tiffany. I, everyone did. <laughs> a lot of people like that version better. Um, ooh, Tug again. Like, oh, and Emily. Uh, uh, yes, um, like a Rolling Stone. Very good. And Ted, yes, it was. I think we're alone now. So, yeah, well, we're really hit or miss tonight. Either everyone's getting it out the gate or I'm being too esoteric or just plain wrong. Uh, well, it was kind of my fault. I said catwalling instead of catterwalling. I always got that wrong. Because when, when I read that word, I think of a cat wailing. So catwalling, but it's catterwalling. But I don't, I, I don't explain why I'm wrong. I just move forward. Okay, number two. The second largest continent. And again, I can already hear you people going on Wikipedia, but I'm going to repeat anyway. The second largest continent. Ooh, Danny, thank you for dropping links, by the way. Um, Sarah's been absolutely outstanding about doing that tonight, but wow, you guys are on your game tonight. Yes, Africa by Toto. Africa. Yep, Africa by Toto. We have also accepted Ween. 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 Uh, ween weenie lives on his back. Uh, but yeah, uh, Denny, um, Sarah's been awesome dropping links, but I want to thank you for dropping them as well. John does his pizza with extra cheese and pepperoni mushrooms and pepper. Sounds delicious. Um, uh, uh, Gary Capra says, I blessed the rains down in Africa. I met Claude Rains down in Africa saying crazy train down in, sorry. And the number one, the number one. And the wrapping up of this game, thank God, is number one is uh, refrain from being afraid of the harvester. And I shall repeat, refrain from being afraid of the harvester. And it's tug for the win. Yes, but a lot of people were right behind you. I do like Dave's Harvest Moon. And you guys know if you, if you can make up a good answer, give yourself credit. But um, yes, it's Don't Fear the Reaper. And wow, that was a toughie. Yes, guys, I, I think, much as I love doing this game, um, next week I think we'll do like a, a regular trivia game. I haven't decided quite on what yet. But, um, and maybe we'll do this like um, occasionally. I do love these um, working titles. But I think every now and then a, a good trivia game is good as well. And Gary Gabbard says, Indy, no, Toto. <laughs> Toto saying Africa. Um, uh, but BOC to close it out. Yes, BOC. And um, Emily says, don't. Yes, it's because it's don't fear the Reaper. So refrain from. Wow, I'm actually beat after that one. Oh, and would you guys look at the time? It's actually almost 10 minutes of 9 my time. So, tell you what we're going to do. We should all start saying our salutations and commiserations and um, wrap up this puppy. Mixed metaphors aside. Guys, I hope you all had a great Easter. I hope you had a great uh, long weekend. Um, for those of you having a tough time right now, I'm going to be sending you all the positive vibes I can muster. And I invite the rest of the fellowship to do likewise. We're all in this together, gang. 
but you guys were actually on the ball. I mean, I shudder to think how many uh, comments that actually were in the comments. You guys had over 1,200 comments a couple weeks ago. 1,200. And I felt like there was more tonight because I know I missed a few. If I missed anyone's comments, uh, uh, if I missed anyone's comments tonight, I am truly, truly sorry. Um, Trolley the Dickens to keep up. Uh, you guys are just so interactive. It's it's really it really is it's amazing, and I actually appreciate it. I mean, you go on some live chats, and I want you guys must have watched this where the person hosting is just sort of like. And they're looking in the comments section to see if somebody says something, anything. <laughs> I never have that problem with you. I actually, while I'm looking at the, I'm, I'm trying really hard to look at the camera because um, in some of my posts, I tend to look this way because I sometimes I actually look at my screen because I'm a terrible narcissist. I try to look right at the camera. Um, here I have to look at the comments. Oh, for example, like, like uh, Kevin says, thanks for another great stream, Thresh Pondo, and nice to see all of the lovely comments and people coming together. Couldn't have said it better myself. Thank you. Number dude says you're the best. No, you guys are the best. Uh, Emily Mills says, uh, please pray for those who want them, and I'll take the good vibes I can get. This is tough on my kids and grandkids, too. Uh, Emily, well stated. Of course, I'm going to pray for everybody who wants me to pray for them, and, and likewise as well. But um, uh, again, we're going to pray very, very hard for uh, your mom and for your whole family. Because this is a very, very difficult thing to go through. And but anyway, oh Georgia says good night, everyone, and Bob. Georgia, I can't tell you how nice it was to have you back. And that um for all of you, for all the folks I haven't seen in a while, I want to thank you. But Georgia, it's been what a couple of years. I think it's actually been a couple of years since we've seen you. And it's very nice um to have had you here tonight. And hopefully you won't be such a stranger. But to everyone else we haven't seen in a while, it was great to see all of you guys as well. It, it really, really means a lot to me. And uh, anyway, I want you all this week, I want you all to be very um, good, be safe, be careful. And you know what? And poor guy, he wasn't here tonight. Or if he, sometimes he's here, but he's here. But because he's having trouble with his Siri, which types his comments, sometimes he's here, but he stays under the radar. Um, to our good friend Kevin. Kevin suggested that I do something on the 4th. Because the 4th, as you know, is my 4th anniversary. Uh, I'm having a 4th on the 4th. So you know what I'm going to do? I don't know when or for how long, but I'm going to do a little 4th uh, anniversary live chat this coming Tuesday. And... um. Uh, hopefully you guys can all make it. Oh, and by the way, while I'm on the subject, I meant to do this tonight. In fact, I mean to do it every week, but I sometimes get sidetracked. Yeah, I wonder why. All the people who are normally here but weren't here this evening, um, we're still thinking about you. We, we still think about we still miss you. <coughs> Cindy D, Lisa Fields, House of Alex, A Big Bean, <coughs> Barry, Dave, Pat, uh, the list goes on. In fact, if I forgot to shout out any of you, please forgive my lack of shout out this. But anyway, um, I want uh, you all, to people who are watching us in replay, to know Mike Silva, especially, because I always see Mike Silva in the uh, uh, comments at the replay. He always checks out on replay. Uh, Sean Innes. Um, I, I was just chatting with him not too, too long ago. To all the people who couldn't be here tonight or can't be here for all our chats, you're with us in here. You're always part of our fellowship. Speaking of Excalibur, our new friend, the fellowship is always here. And I want to thank all of you guys for being here tonight. I hope you, had a, again, had a great long weekend. Have a great week. And I'll try to see as many of you as I can uh, this Tuesday. And I'll I'll put up some kind of reminder so at least we know when it'll probably be the same time it'll it'll probably be seven thirty, but um because it has to fit the rest of my schedule. But anyway, until then, be good, be safe, be careful, and I'm looking forward to seeing you all again very 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 soon. Peace. <laughs>